The new craze that's sweeping through the Marvel Contest of Champions community. Mangog goes really low and so much more. Yes, hello everybody, welcome back to the Marvel Contest of Champions news show for Monday. It certainly has been somewhat of a quiet weekend. There hasn't been a huge amount going on with the game, but still we have got a few stories to go over. So make sure to hit the like button and subscribe with post notifications on all. But just before we get into news, just want to give a massive thank you to those that support the channel over on Patreon and as well through YouTube membership services. Thank you so much, uh, everybody on screen at the moment. You're absolutely amazing and kind. And also those that support over on twitch.tv slash richthemanlive. That's where I predominantly do a lot of my live streaming. Thank you so much. And as well, like uh, those that give the Prime Gaming, so those, that free sub from Amazon Prime, thank you so much. And as well, those that do tier one subs and bit, and also support the channel free donations, thank you so much. Also, I am considering bringing back the uh, St. Patrick's Day Gamathon, which is uh, a normal thing. Like each year over on here, YouTube, I do a full day of uh, live streaming various different games. But I'm thinking that I might predominantly play MCOC and maybe kind of like rotate something else into it, doing a combination of crystal openings, arena. Uh, Act 6.3, maybe some other content that I haven't done that I, I'd want to get done. A bit of event quest, I don't know, just a whole combination of things to do. Or if not, kind of mix it up between this game and uh, maybe another game. But uh, I might do a community poll on that one, so uh, have a look at the community tab um, today or tomorrow, whether or not I will indeed do that. Okay, now let's just get into some newsy type things and just some coverage of stuff that's going on within the community. Firstly, there seemed to be an issue on Friday when it came to the Hood Rankdown tickets. They weren't working properly or they couldn't be claimed and that one was indeed sorted. So there's nothing really more to go with that. If you are having an issue with any of the Hood tickets, Rankdown tickets that you use, make sure to go to the link in the description which will be to this forum post or as well raise a ticket, a support ticket with Kabam in order to get that sorted. Next up, another reminder, yesterday we posted episode 54 of the Contest Round podcast. If you don't know, this is the podcast that myself and Dan of Frontline MCOC do together. We talk about the week's stuff. We also talk about stuff that may be you know, going on in the Marvel Universe. We're doing WandaVision and then this week, well next week, we'll be covering episode 1 of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So this week we did the WandaVision finale. We tried to do things in a week break, so just so that people are able to keep up and as well, you know, avoid with uh, spoilers. So that's what we're doing with that. And also we're talking about Marvel Realm of Champions being in a very bad shape. But, uh, you know, come and give it a listen. And also the video version is over on the YouTube channel. Also, it looks like Kabam have put together their most up-to-date bugs and known issues. So currently, they've got a few things under investigation and being resolved. So the things that are going down in next update, there's an issue where keeping synergy with with, with does not uh, synergy with does not uh, always prevent evasion. Also, there's a visual issue where Ronan's signature ability contains extra text, which we we uh, we've seen before. There seems to be something still under investigation, which is there's an issue where the passive stun from Magneto's House of X's pre-fight ability can sometimes cause Colossus to push opponents farther uh, back when he uses parry, so that's just something that's still under investigation. But, as we go further down, there's some stuff that kind of, uh, well, I've been keeping an eye on, but I haven't really kind of delved too much in because Kabam haven't given a full... Uh, like update on situations and that's the thing I try to make sure that we find out what Kabam are doing it because people can say like well you know what's what's Kabam doing and the answer would be I have no idea but at least to find out that there's an issue with uh, where Thor Ragnarok can reduce Archangel's ability accuracy many players have said about that in uh, various different forum posts but also there's an issue where the damage from Thor Ragnarok's SP3 is not capped as intended so whether or not that is speaking as a disadvantage to players or an advantage to players is really hard to see and also there's a there's a known issue where pre-fight abilities may not be able to fight uh, not apply to the fight after they've been activated which we've seen many times in a workaround as we said in a previous news but what of this Thor Ragnarok SP3 thing well if you look at this gif here you'll be able to see something first of all it looks like well that seems like normal damage and all of a sudden boom down to seven <laughs> percent yeah okay so at the end of the day uh, it, it's easy to say don't get hit by Thor Ragnaros SP3, right? You can say it like that, but at the same time, it doesn't it doesn't help out players kind of like having that kind of uh, attitude, but let's just put it this way. Power control is going to have to be on point. You're going to have to find champions that are able to power control better than normal so that the uh, Thor Ragnarok doesn't get up to an SP3. 
and as well man is tough because it looks like this uh this just a very weird interaction i myself haven't been hit by the sp3 or maybe i have or haven't but i haven't noticed extensive loss of this so it could be device specific of an issue or it could be something that's happened after i've 100 percented everything it's really hard to tell but there are a few players kind of like talking about this and as well kabam's a bit saying and as we saw with the bugs and known issues kabam are investigating it because it ain't good, people. It ain't good to see that you're losing and melting all kinds of health left, right, and center. Also, from what I gather, this isn't positively affecting you from a, an offensive point of view. This is just seems to be with uh, maybe the node, maybe something's been built wrong, and maybe this is a case that you're going up against it in the quest this month, and therein lies the problem. But in other cases, it's like... Man, it would be good to see some top-ended damage because the champion relies a lot too much on the synergies to make him better. If you've seen my video I posted, I think it's coming into like two years now since I posted. A very well-received video, by the way. And it's just a case that if you have like all of the Asgardians together, you're able to like maximize some huge rotations of damage. But it's not the best thing in the world. And we all hope that a buff could be there for the champion down the line. Right, let's talk about this new craze. Now, I can't play any of the um, the clips for the music because it's copyrighted and uh, I would land myself in trouble if I did. But this new craze is now sweeping through the community. And I, I would just say, like, it's it's a fad. Like, it will be gone for those. And I have seen a few people kind of complaining about this and going like, oh, you know, this has got to stop and blah, blah, blah. I just think, uh, it's a thing. It's funny. It will be here for about five minutes and then it'll be gone. By the time next week comes, no one's going to be posting these kind of like little videos. But it's kind of cool because it is a current craze at the moment. If you download Wombo.ai, it's the free version if you want to have a go yourself. The only other option is like, I think it's something, something called like Visualizer app. And it's not, uh, no, it's called Avaterity. Avaterity? Yeah, Avaterify, Ter sorry. And it's like, it's the one you've got to pay for. You can do a free trial of it, but I always think that it's always better to kind of go with something that's free first. And uh, Wombo.ai is a free app. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. So you can go and check it out. They've added a couple of new songs and you can get stuff like this. Do it with any kind of profile pic, like uh, Immortal Hulk right there. And you can even do your own profile picture. And yeah, it's been one of those uh, slow weekends when it comes to the community that we're even covering crazes during the uh, these times. But yeah, we've got to go on to um, arena predictions here and results. So predictions for round two are down below and represent where these champions have fallen when it comes to the cutoffs. And let's just face it, like Mangog didn't have that element of popularity I thought he would have, but it's very difficult to tell. In any case, let's go over the results. So initially, this is the five-star situation. Mangog got, uh, you can first of all get him at 158 position with 59 mil, so that's like 60 mil respectively for that. Uh, but if you want to kind of get close to understanding the 300 side of things, then yes, indeed, 300 was got with 47 mil. Man, that's a big jump, but at the same time gives you an idea and the reason that I have now charted a 50 mil threshold for kind of going and grabbing this for round two, because it just feels like it makes sense to go 50 mil with this. 55 mil, I did predict on round one, but again, it does go down to how do you guess something like this based on popularity? And then when we get to Odin next week, uh, that's going to be a bit, of a bit of a difficult one to do, but we're going to give it a go, aren't we? Nextly, we've got the four-star version. Position 288 was got with 10.9 mil. I think I went for 10.5 mil with this. And it even there's a case that that's a bit overkill. The same thing when it comes to like down the line. Shout out to Mr. Worldwide as well as uh, the Grim one for the info. Because you can see the difference there with 360 position and 10.3 mil. It's like we, we still got to see a further... Three no, 400 positions, 440 positions. So it's, that's that's a lot still to kind of like see where that's going to fall down. Unfortunately, there's not any more information when it comes to the four star situation. So I would welcome everybody to go back to Marvel Contest the Champions Strukos later on for the up to date info from the arena history. 
and results. But as well, uh, Magneto is uh, is kind of going for 1.5 mil, which I've seen. So that hence, as I said, the predictions and start of this particular section uh, really cover uh, that particular thing. And there we go. That has been a very slim Marvel Contest of Champions news because there's not really much going on at the moment. But at least we're covering some stuff that's, uh, that's current at the moment. Hopefully there's more info dropping towards the end of the week. And as well, uh, stay tuned to the channel because we've got lots of videos to drop today and tomorrow and throughout the rest of the week. That is uh, covering some of the things that are important and as well helpful. So thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.